My name is K. Felix, and I welcome you to K. Felix Inspire. Please, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and always hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Do stay tuned for more details in this report. We have been uh, disturbed this morning with the news that has been confirmed by the Zambia police through their spokesperson of the discovery of 65 million kwacha in cash. 65 million 330,000 kwacha in cash in a home in New Kasama. On top of that, 57 thousand United States dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, countrymen and women, and the youth of Zambia. This is the kind of Zambia that we were subjected to. What we are beginning to see now are the remnants of the reality that this country was in the hands of filthy men and women. Simply put, thieves. And today you can see the kind of resources that are meant for the nation that are in the hands of individuals. In a country where we went without medication in hospitals, so many people lost their lives because they couldn't access diabetic medication. People lost their lives because they couldn't access consumables for their dialysis. People lost their lives because they couldn't access ordinary, minimum health services because our health system ground to a near halt without resources to help the people of Zambia. Yet individuals could have in their homes 65 million kwacha in cash. And these are very young people. We don't want to believe that this money is, is, is money that the young lady would have made or, or, or so on. It is quite clear that this money was placed for safekeeping in the hands of this young lady. And we can speculate really that uh, I'm sure she took some of it and they ran away and exposed the change. So for easy carrying, probably she even carried the forex, which may have been more than the 57 that was recovered. What is clear and what Zambians should ask themselves is, then why, if this money is genuinely obtained, why is it not in a bank? Why is it not in a financial institution? How would you keep such kind of colossal sums in a home? We are happy that police are on it. We will not uh, conclude. We may speculate, but that's as far as we can go. But we must allow the police to do their work and get to the conclusion of it and tell us exactly what has happened for this money to be found like this and be, bring the perpetrators to book. So that this be a lesson that in Zambia, going forward, from the new Don administration going forward, for the next 50 years, UPND will be in office. They must know that never again in Zambia shall it be that those in government will stick their fingers in the coffers of the nation. Hear me right, new Don administration. Hear me right, UPND Alliance administration. For the next 50 years that you will be in charge of this country, such will not happen. At least we are very sure and confident that for the next 10 years, President Hagainde will be in charge of the country. It will not happen. We don't know about the other four presidents that will come and do 10 years each after President Hagainde, because we have clear that we are going to do a minimum of 50 years in this country. I hope PF is listening and are strong enough to withstand 50 years in opposition. We are aware that cash is moving and it is moving in vehicles. They can't move it in the banks. 
Now they are stuck with a lot of money and they are moving it in vehicles. We just want to let you know that we are aware and we are on top of things. But only that we are not vigilante kind of people. We let the law enforcement agencies do their work. And they will do their work. And I can assure you this. All that money you store, you will not take it anywhere. You will be caught with it. Hear me and hear me right. There is not a single person who can steal public funds, funds meant for the people of Zambia, for the poor majority of Zambia, and you get away with it. You can't. You may hide for a little while, but you will be caught up. And today, it is just but the beginning, and you will see more to come, people who will be caught up with stolen public resources.